Hi guys, uh, today I will be going through um, positions available um, within the, SAS, the sorry, SAPI group, okay? A lot of construction workers or fitters, turners, um, welders, boilermakers, etc. There are positions out there. It's just that they either advertised on Indeed or you find them on Pnet or Junk Mail, etc. Um, however, there is a simpler way of applying for these positions because they are out there. It's just that when you go through Indeed or Pnet, sometimes you don't have all your information filled correctly. You haven't completed all the necessary fields and your application might not be considered in that instance. If you are within this field, in a construction field, or if you know of anybody in the construction field looking for vacancies, um, this is the best way in which to apply directly to the organization and not going via any social network or um, social medias, etc. Going directly through to the company. Um, so in this case, I've got my Google page open. I will just type in the toolbar SAPI and um, you can just go to the main uh, the company page that you type in SAPI. You go to um, SAPI will be your first option. Um, when you go into there, you're going to come to their home page, obviously, um, that's their company page. Um, if you go through, if you, you can just scroll down and have a look at what um, at all the, well, what options you have available, what they teach you about SAPI, etc. Well, for our, in this case, we're not really interested in that. We're going to then go click on the careers. If you have a look on the top, you'll see the careers button. You click on that, it will then bring you to the next page. Okay, the careers hub. Okay, um, if you scroll through that, it will also give you the ways that you can apply for job or browse, browse vacancies, etc. Scroll down. Okay, um, if you have a look right at the top, you'll come to a section where it says find your ideal job, and just under that, you've got a link where it says browse our job vacancies. So you will click on that link, and it will then take you to the, uh, the page where you're going to have to create yourself a profile. And upload your CV accordingly. Okay. Um, if you have a look here, it will give you the the positions that you're looking for, etc. Job functions, etc. If you have a profile or created a profile already, you will sign in, and it will take you. You'll look, put your login details, etc. Once you've done this part of it, it will then. I'm just gonna use. Um, I have helped a friend of mine with this. We'll just use that login details for now. Let's just see. Okay, we've just created an anonymous. It's not actually a friend. It's just an email that we've tried to use when we, when we try to work out the way they in which it works. Okay, so then we'll put in the password. And once we've done that, you'll see it's going to take you to the main page where all the careers are reflected and all the jobs, etc. are reflected. Okay. So what I've taught you from the beginning is you go into your SAPI page, your home page, um, you go into your careers. Um, on your careers page, you click on the uh, browsing, on the, on the jobs available browsing, and then it will bring up your profile. Okay. Once you've logged in, it will bring up your profile. Okay. In this case, if you have a look, we've just created a profile. A dummy profile on there and once you've done that you will then go into job search um, just to ensure that all your information is correct whatever they requested for you it will not look like this when you're creating your profile in the beginning all these all the spaces will be blank and you'll have to complete the information once you've done that um, then you will go into your job search you will click on job search on the toolbar and then it will bring up positions that they're available or you can type in the position that you are looking for. Okay. Um, once you've done that, you'll type in the position you're looking for, um, whatever the case may be, you fault out the information that they're looking for, and you go search for jobs. Okay, that's when they will bring up the positions um, that are available. Okay, in this in this case, we'll just, um, for example, we'll just type in artisan um, job title. Or description will rather do it that way. Um, English UK, okay. Post when the last we'll just say 30 days. Um, requisition number we don't have. Job function any. We'll also state any. Level of experience is any. We'll put it South African any, any, okay. And then we'll go search. We'll tell you how many jobs they have available within your specific field that you are looking for. And um, will bring up the jobs that Zappi has available. In this case, if you have a look here, 
they're looking for a DCS technician that's at Moana Mill. And then you've also got an artisan assistant also at Moana Mill, that's engineering. And then they at the Tugela Mill, they're looking for an artisan aid, level one, and that's at your Tugela Mill. Um, once you've decided or once you've uh, put through your application, decided to put through your application for this position, um, you can just go on the drop down box here. It will say apply whether you want to apply for the position, save the job, or email a job to a friend. Okay, so then you can choose either of those. Um, what we've also done, what we've also noticed is that you've got the option of uploading your CV directly on here as well. When you are filling out your details for your candidate properly, if you have a look here, you can see the CV has been uploaded as well. You can also attach a cover letter, whatever the, whatever other documents you feel is necessary. Okay. Um, when on your on your on your candidate profile, when you scroll down, it will give you all the information that you need to have included. Um, you'll be creating your um, your experience, your educational information, everything will be on here. And once it's uh, that will that's the information that actually gets submitted through for the position that you're applying for. It also gives you an option of attaching more than one document on here. In this case, we've attached the CV, and you can have a look, and there it's reflecting there. So you can attach your your qualification, your CV, etc., onto there, and it gets it goes through with your profile for the position that you're applying for. Remember, the more information that you submit through for each position, the better chance you have of getting shortlisted for that specific position. Um, so try and be and provide as much information and answer all questions that is requested of you um, when creating your candidate profile as this is the information that they utilize to do their shortlisting. Guys, I hope that this video was helpful for you. Uh, we will be uh, posting more videos for each organization and for different industries, etc. So stay tuned. Please subscribe to our channel. Um, the button's on the screen at the on your right-hand corner or left-hand corner. Um, please subscribe and um, do let us know if, you, if there's any, any information that you request from or you need from us. Send us an email um, or comment below. Um, guys, please um, share with as many people as possible, friends, family, colleagues, etc. As this is a helpful hint, especially with regards to construction workers that are finding it difficult to find employment.